medication we will do is a subination assist. And that's basically for patients with forced pronation. It could be neurological patients that actually has a pronation and we need to be, be able to facilitate, in this case, subination of the patient. What I do then is I use a 50 millimeter strap and I cut a length that is around about 50 to 60 centimeter, depending on the length of the arm of the patient. The 50 millimeter strap in one of the end, I will cut down into a little bit narrower application because this will be my thumb piece. Once I've cut it in the angle like this, and you see it's narrower up here. On that side, I take one of the narrower hooks and apply that. I will go around the thumb like this, creating a, like a small sling. And I'm using the base of the CMC joint. Then I will put the patient in neutral, if it's possible. Then I will pull the strap, but with very mild compression, creating a spiral going up around the forearm. Once I get onto the medial aspect of the elbow, then I can pull a little bit more compression there, just in order to extend the elbow as well. And then I pull the strap around the biceps, and then I attach it with a wider hook on the outside. What happens now is that when patient tries to go in pronation, it actually swings the patient out in supination. Still patient are able actually to do flexion in this case, can actually do pronation, but as soon as they relax, it actually forces the arm out into external rotation. In some cases, I'm also addressing the shoulder as well, since the shoulder is the base of this application. So if we have an anterior dislocation of the shoulder, I might have to stabilize the shoulder first and then apply the sling.